Hey, what's up everyone? Adam here with Publish Drive. Co-authoring is a very popular strategy used by many authors to collaborate and share the writing workload, and basically just to work as a team on various kinds of projects. However, when it comes to splitting the royalties from those respective projects, it can be a huge pain, but not any longer. I'm excited to give you a quick tutorial on how Publish Drive's royalty splitting feature works, and we call it Team Royalties. Now, we have a secure opt-in process to start this all out. One person from the team initiates the overall process, and then all other co-authors and co-contributors must accept it for the royalty splitting to begin. Once everyone has agreed to the terms by accepting the invite, at the end of each pay period, royalties will automatically be distributed to each author and contributor based on the percentage set. This is so awesome. We're taking the hard work out of this for you. You guys are gonna love it. So let me show you how it works. Okay, I'm here on my dashboard. Like I mentioned before, one person from the group, from the team needs to become what we call the book owner or the team lead to initiate this process. So basically all that means is that they're the person who's gonna upload the book to the platform. So in order to do that, they come to their dashboard and they select my account and select team royalties. It's really simple. From here, they select invite co-authors and then just go ahead and choose the book from the dropdown. Now I'm gonna choose this demo title here. Now um, it's great if your book's published, but if it's not published yet, it just needs to be in a, at least a draft status to begin the royalty sharing. Then just choose a start and end date, uh, or a start date, excuse me. Um, it's just the month and year you wish this to, to begin. Now you do have the option, like I said, to put in an end date, but this is optional because by default, this is set to an indefinite period of time. If you do need an end date, please put it in here. Also, if you have two different contributors, for example, who have two different end dates, all you would do then is create an agreement, a contract, just do this again for each person um, if they have different end dates. So pretty simple. And then just go ahead and click next. Now from here, all you do is just choose the email ad addresses. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a few here. Now these are all of the people that you wish to email. You can have as many co-authors here as you wish. Just enter in their email addresses. Now, a note here, all proposed co-authors um, and contributors, they all have to be invited at the same time time. That makes sense. The only way to add an additional co-author at a later date is basically just to, ex to terminate the existing agreement and just create a whole no a new one. So everyone that you wish to invite, please just do it here at the same time. Now, if you have different end dates, like I mentioned before, everyone with the same end date needs to be invited at the same time. If everybody has no end date, it's in just an indefinite period of time. It's simple. All you have to do is just enter in all of the email addresses. Then the next thing you do here um, is add um, the percentage that each person gets. Now, if, if this is going to be split equally, we have a, an equalize button here that'll just do it for you. You don't even have to do the math. It's pretty cool. Now, then you can just go and choose the role that everyone's playing. If they're an author, if they're an editor, whatever it is, I'm just choosing author here. And then you can go ahead and just type in a message. This is awesome. Um, please accept it, whatever it might be. And you could do this for everyone. You could type in whatever you want here. So I'm just going to do that. Now, once I have everyone's email addresses typed in and have all, have all of this information filled out, the next thing I do is simply click invite co-authors. It's really simple. So it takes you back to this page and then you'll see here the books that you've shared. Um, you can see the details. Um, you can see that who's accepted, who hasn't. Um, and then you could actually withdraw the invitation right here if you would like. Now, just a quick note again. Just to reiterate, only after all of the invitations have been confirmed will the royalty share be enabled. So all parties must accept it. Now what happens is once you hit that send button, um, all of those email addresses that you've, been, that you've typed in, an, an invite will be sent to them and then they'll be able to accept it. The cool part about it is if they're a registered Publish Drive user already, they could just come here and see um, right into their dashboard, see any invites that have been come to them. And I'll show you that, what that looks like here in just a moment, the moment. Now there are restrictions, um, that's worth mentioning here. All, everybody involved from the team, every co-author, every contributor, whoever it is, 
We'll be able to access the book's metadata. They're going to be able to see the sales data, um, the reporting. However, only one person from the team can edit the book, and that's the team lead or this book owner, what we've called it. Um, let me show you here what an invitation looks like, and I'll come back one second. Okay, from the invitee perspective, this is what it looks like. Here's an email that got sent to them after the team lead has pushed out the invitations. Here's what it says. Hey, this person has invited you as a co-author or contributor for the following book. It selects the book and go ahead and click on this link to view it. Um, and here is what it looks like from the dashboard. Now here's where I'm at in the dashboard. If I click on this top part here, where it says book shared with me. Now I can see the details of the book, my percentage and share of it, uh, the end date. And now I can either accept or reject this invitation. So I'm just going to go ahead and accept it. And this is what it looks like. I'm about to accept it and okay. So let me show you what it looks like once everyone has accepted. Okay, I'm back to my dashboard as the team lead. And down here at the bottom, you can see you can see that this book is live. You can see that everyone's accepted. And now I have two different options. So if you need to cancel, terminate, or edit this, you can do that here. You simply come back to this part of your dashboard and click on the book. And then you could terminate this if you would like. Or if you need to make changes, you can edit that. Now, once you've made changes, all of the authors need to accept the updated terms. All of the contributors, everyone involved needs to once again, accept the updated terms. And once they do, it will go into effect immediately. It's really cool. So we're super excited about this. Team royalties is awesome. And we know you guys are going to love it. So just to recap, here's what you get. You have a secure opt-in process. Remember, one person uploads the book. Everyone, all contributors, all co-authors must agree and confirm the invitation before royalty splitting is enabled. You're going to love the convenience of this, of how we pay this out. So now you don't have to worry about it. At the end of each period, royalties are automatically going to be distributed to each author and contributor based on the percentage that was set and agreed upon. You're going to have some account access restrictions. Remember, everyone involved all co-authors, all contributors will be able to access the book's meta metadata. You're going to be able to see sales data, um, have reporting options, but only the team lead, one person, can edit the book. And you can have an unlimited number of co-authors slash contributors. So this is such an awesome, awesome thing. We know you guys are going to love it. So check it out. Go to publishdrive.com and check out Team Royalties. Thanks, guys.